Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Mighty Nine Time a Campaign 2, Episode 95, Blessing in Disguise. So, here's the situation. We just did the hour Patreon video. I cut it short, about 5 or 10 minutes, so that we could have extra time over here on YouTube. There is about 12 or 13 minutes left. Obviously, that's just the content. By the time we talk and everything, it should be about a 20-minute video, give or take. But it's a short one because we did 30 minutes after the live stream. We hit 50 or more likes. That is the third or fourth time in a row we have been consistently hitting 50 or more likes on every live stream. And this week, we had 30 plus in the chat the entire four hours. It was like a four-hour live stream. We had... 30 plus people the entire time, even up until we signed off, people were still jumping in in the 30s. And I was like, I almost don't want to end, but I got to eventually end and I have to do things like this. And it keeps routine and keeps us going. So let's just jump into this. But first, all right, so here's where we're at. We had us going through the jungle. We had some more interactions with the Traveler. We were discussing Traveler Con. He did some fancy things. And we went on our way. We decide to go the path of Caduceus. Caduceus is leading. This is his gig. And we come across this area with red, clean soil. It smells like old soil, but like clean, red soil. There's different sizes. Then we see what looks like a waxy substance that's beehive-ish. We inquired about whether it was wasps, but we didn't really roll good, so we don't know for sure. And we're seeing baboon arms hanging out of moss and waxy stuff that is looking like it's devouring it or decomposing it. And now we come across two larger piles. Ford stabs a sword and do a little more stuff, and then we go further into what now is a 12 by 13 foot gigantic object that is engulfed in this waxy substance and moss type stuff we have no idea but it seems like caduceus has an idea so let's jump in we'll talk more at the end you guys want to see more of what i do in the description of every video is a link for patreon you'll see the patreon hour exclusive for every episode of campaign two peaky blinders doctor who purse of interest we're finishing rick and morty season seven. Oh no if you're seeing this we finished rick and morty season seven on sunday We'll probably start True Detective Season 4. I'm trying to think of a new show to replace it. And I don't think any of the shows I normally do are starting because of the writer's strike. So we're going to find out. But I know that True Detective 4 looked pretty good and it starts the second week of January. So maybe that's what we'll do. I don't know. Check it out in the description. Full unedited everything on Patreon. If not, Camp A2, Episode 95, Mighty Nine Time. Mm. Oh, and now... Caleb was, down a bit. You was just talking about the possibilities of a giant worm I, I, we got devouring far. people and then just that's what is left. That far down? Oh, far down? Um, I mean, you get down about three feet and it's still going. Whoa. We're down three feet we can, and about the we cannot make out width what is in this of a body. Of wax you have described here. I mean, we dug a pretty no. good hole. No. Yasha like and Jester dig are digging holes. This hole and go, look at this dig thing. a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Or, or we could completely go around it. Uh, hmm. Here we go. You want the big waxy cocoon? No one's gonna poke the thing. Ford is all about poking shoot things. Shoot your old fucking arrows at it. Sure, I'll shoot an arrow. What, what if? Yeah, what if Why? somebody's just in gonna, it? Like I mean, Ford before there's something in there was poking not. the dirt, totally and Caduceus was like, "Please don't do that." Me? What if oh, there's a body in there, and we could save it? I doubt it, but what if? This is a place of death. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm not gonna do it. So you know This is where I'm going. So. All Wait, this, this is, is where here? Place? This is your place? We're not there yet, but... Well, then it's not all a holy place. <laughs> <laughs> this may be part of it. Well, what are we supposed to do with it? What did you... See, could use this the whole time has been very cool. And like, ah... Uh, they don't talk about I it. I see, but then he doesn't like say anything. Should we anything shoot it or not? Well, while everyone's been debating, yeah. Frumpkin yeah. on two legs just slowly <laughs> stumbled up while they debated, mm -hmm. and it's already there. Yeah. And I'm going to have him um, just crawl up a bit and go... To the waxy cocoon? Yeah. Oh, it taps. 
it's like a hard waxy shell. I it's, think we're taking um, a lot of a unnecessary risks, around. but I, um, I, I is it all that same kind the of outcome, fungus? I'm sure. Or is it all different? If kind? it has an outcome, uh, it's the right same now kind it of like purplish no blue outcome. fungus, just much larger, and it's it's in patches. It's not completely covering it's it, but the fungus it, but I'm yeah. not concerned about so much as the waxy substance. I'm going to walk up to a little bit of it and put out my staff. I mean, that to me is the most threatening right now because it could be gigantic killer wasps. I'm going to invite it into my into my staff to see if it if it if they get along. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem to respond. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well. And it doesn't respond to Frumpkin skittering all over it, knocking on it. So I'll begin. Monkey pose. <laughs> uh, Frumpkin has been skittering kind of through. Do you want Frumpkin to like physically jostle the fungus? He could cover it up and yeah, just give a little. Okay. Like, tug on uh, things. Frumpkin gives a heavy tugging? jostle to one of the larger uh, mushrooms, one of the caps there, and it kind of pulls back in a little bit, it kind of recoils slightly, yeah. and then oh. <laughs> this cloud of spores kind of Caduceus. comes out for about a three or four foot range that from good. that cap. Caduceus. All right, um, three or four go feet. Go ahead and roll a Constitution saving throw for Frumpkin. Oh, Frumpkin. Oh, sure, that'll go well. We're not yeah, that'll go these well. Spores, right? We're not close to these spores. Don't, don't irritate the fungus. Please don't turn this into. Don't irritate the fungus. Could you do something? Yeah, saying, ten. Don't mess with ten. Like, but I mean, it's poisoned. Poison. Okay. Ah. Frumpkin is poisoned. Does it take any instant damage? Is or that is how? Okay. It's just poison. People are being. Oh, is he gonna poof in like consumed? six seconds? Are they getting mm-hmm. knocked no out from enough. poison? Bruce. And then poison does make you poop in like six seconds. Like something out of There's talk of a of an oasis. In a red and gold veined cave. Red and gold. Maybe this is what that's from. They're just stories, is the trouble. I've never seen it personally. Don't the oasis usually have water? They do. Hmm. Midnight but at the oasis. Red and gold? Red and gold. I red don't like see any gold, though. But red like the soil? Red like the soil. What if we melt the wax and Not it turns nothing. like yellow? I love caduces. <laughs> But no, he's too relaxed. Uh, he could have told us this. Matt was saying every like 20 or 30 minutes we'd get to another location. So for like well, two hours, we've seen this red soil. Okay? He didn't think to say like maybe <laughs> it has an explanation. I'll, I'll call from Canova and I'll lay I'm, on. I, I mean, in the amount of time, I would have asked him 20 times already. But Caduceus is just kind of like chill. Down, like, don't worry about it, I got it. Okay. And we'll I believe it does. We'll use for the first time and neutralize a poison. All right. Yeah. Do you know So you use five points of your, I think it's five, right? Five hit points of your hands. How many times can you do that a day? Twice, technically, I think, since five you per level. You wasted on Frumpkin. What if one of us get poisoned? He's an animal lover. Frumpkin That's cool that you can do it like twice that. a game, or, or twice a day. <laughs> Sprinkle. Go check out that. You wasted it on Frumpkin. <laughs> Frumpkin gets thrown in the shit. And Whenever we bring Frumpkin out, it's because <laughs> something <laughs> bad is around. Up, Frumpkin like is only, you, I mean, back of once in a blue moon, he comes down to chill and hang. Deeper into but think about it. In the last, like, 20 episodes, when do we pop Frumpkin out? When we think we might die, yes, or get really, really badly <laughs> hurt. Did that, so Frumpkin deserves a, yeah, a, Frumpkin you know, a little oh, attention hey, sometimes. You are with four today, and he skitters up, leg all the way up to the top of Slim's and sits oh, on his shoulder. Did you tell us what do you want us to do? Do you want us to leave it alone, or do you want us to keep going? Do you want us to fuck with this cocoon thing, what? My instinct is to leave it alone. But all right, then let's keep going. Let's keep going. I think people okay. are getting fr- they're, I, I, so Am I wrong? Injury. I think they're getting frustrated with Caduceus your, too, your, because we've been wandering your around your for like hours, yeah, 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 and they're right, like not us, but they these have done like hours, and, and Caduceus is just, just like very lax and daisically. Like I get it, like and yeah, 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 I get that's him, but everybody else is like, dude, we've got shit to do. All right. But what if it has to do with Caduceus' stuff, and then we ruin it's his It's like, just make a choice, that's what we're saying. You are leading this you know, expedition, so okay, really, I think that's what people what are saying. Do do I don't, I'm not if mad. you want to take a look inside I just from a, feel like from a he's distance, a I will trust your judgment. <laughs> when he's the leader. Honestly, I feel like he's not, not a good leader. I'm not an expert, generous of you, we do. I'm not an expert here, I just know what I am. Okay, well, I will start by just taking 30 seconds to throw, like, three or four firebolts. Bolts. Okay. <laughs> it's a large enough target where you don't need to worry about rolling for it necessarily. You just kind of launch it and and they kind of slam into it like these tiny fiery missiles. These as it impacts, the first one hits kind of further up and exposes some of the wax immediately, kind of breaks off and melts at the same time. You can see a bit of kind of darker 
kind of reddish brown fur exposed Ooh. though matted um one of the the falling ones hits the midsection and as it hits the wax kind of melts away leaving a hole and immediately it begins <gasps> some liquid begins to just pour honey? out Is of it, it honey some kind of like mildly greenish mm. Kind of blackish, <laughs> thick sludge like liquid that's kind of spilling out of the hole down the side of the wax over the mushrooms and kind of go down. Uh, a or something. Slurpy, slurpy suicide. <laughs> Could we kill slurpy it? Are we killing suicide. something? Putting no. a baby that's growing in there. I think it's decomposing. I think it's just decomposing. Yeah. Now I the smell hits you. Oh. Uh, rot. A, an extremely grotesque, strong, putrid. Decay, um, and as you can see, like the the as the wax melts and the, the liquid comes to spill out of it, you get the sense that whatever was captured in there, yeah. um, based on the acid damage you saw on the bones earlier, has been slowly dissolving inside this cocoon, and what has been dissolving has now been pouring out of the hole that you left in its side. Oh. So there was a little bit of fur left at the top, but. Further down, further you still, down. You still don't know quite what this creature is. You've only like, exposed the little elements oh, of it, wow. but the smell is awful. You, the like, is most of you guys really begin big. to start just heaving. We should <laughs> head out. The creature is big. And whatever the horse that did this is even bigger. Who? Yeah. Everyone's heaving. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> that was that for a prank. You continue on your path. And While we walk, I kind of keep an eye towards the canopy. Yeah, we said this make earlier, sure. but it's good okay. to keep checking. Yeah, just um, make sure. Ford asks, but I mean, I, enough time's I gone would say by where we Caduceus should definitely and check Jester. You would begin to hear as you guys move on about 30, 40, 50 feet from this, trying to get away from the smell. The smell seems to almost be chasing you. It's just filling this area of the jungle. You begin to hear like a. Oh no. Is it Velociraptors? Like a little ways off in the distance. Oh, well, like, We're gonna get consumed. I'm going to just start hearing hearing like bushes I shifting. Hope we get to see what it is. I want to see what it is. In the op- behind trees in the opposite direction and prepare. We should hide. We should hide. Okay, okay. I'll hide. Um, oh, I hope he doesn't say, and eh, we're gonna break. Not I want on the ground. Out. It's I probably gonna come. You hear God. distant ferns and bushes and leaves and other elements of the forest floor being jostled and moved just outside of your perimeter. Just I'm gonna light up the sword. The sword lights up. You hear like a heavy wood sound and you see just out of the right side of where you are, Caduceus, you see these kind of bladed legs climb up the side of a tree and just curve around to look. You see what looks to be roughly the size of, of a Bladed like a, a wolverine legs. or a large badger, um, but its body is this kind of uh, chitinous insect-like plates, pale. Awesome, great. Light. It's insect-like, um, beautiful. Al- almost translucent. Uh, its legs itself coming to these kind of arched dagger-like points as it climbs up the side of the tree. Um, its tail kind of goes behind it in this long, almost lobster-like fashion that comes into two pincer-like blades, mm. and what? you cannot see where a face would be. It's just is it kind a of creature? Bald, Does it speak? Armored front, mm. and, it kind of oh. and then disappears up into the tree. You just hear more and more of the jungle moving around. Oh my God, you. there's more. Oh, everyone back to back. Drawn, back to back. probably by back the exposed back. smell oh, oh, no. of a long, right. simmering meal that's now been left to spill on the jungle back floor. Back to back! And that's where we're gonna go and take a break. Ah! Wow. These oh, things sound like so something annoying. to be make me think of worried fuzzy with. Fuzzy millipedes, these some Belated legs, like, oh, giant oh, scorpion like oh, tails oh, with double. Yeah, the, 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 the yeah, we yeah. And there's a bunch. Much the My guess is there's at least three or four. I really hoping we would have I, I hope yeah. there's way more. Yeah, it was. We're just like sitting there right, we'll going after this. poke me. You're welcome. Yeah, well, that's what I do. I mean, honestly, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I had expected them to do that way more. I was like, all right, the other stuff. We're going to skip this encounter. But. I'm not going to pretend I didn't know this how thing this was, was going to happen. Of course, of course. I want to go to corner of that we video game. Yeah. Yeah. Poke yeah. that chair yeah. just a little yeah. bit yeah. longer. Yeah. Sometimes you happens. get information, sometimes you get loot, sometimes you get cool, cool encounters, cool sometimes cool you draw a bunch of creatures oh, right. Um, we have our one giveaway tonight. I mean, fantastic yeah. purple heart dice vault. It vol- sounds yeah. aggressively yeah. violent. Yeah. The way special goes to one lucky winner tonight. But I guess if you think about it, is gateway. 
We have one been through way 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 crazy Enter stuff. once, yeah. and once only, more than once, we disqualified. Hey. Once again, for people yeah, in the that US and uh, Canada only, excluding Quebec, we'll come back Purple here heart. shortly with My the winner favorite. and the rest of tonight's session. Yeah. See you soon. All right, everybody, that is it for episode 95 of Campaign 2. I'm happy Matt described what we're dealing with. I was going to get so frustrated if I had to wait to Friday to find out what it is because the little clicking noises he was making could be anything. We were already given the impression it was an insect-like being, so now it is confirmed it is so. But I'm happy to see it's not a waspy, stingerish, buggy type. Well, it is. But, like, in a cool way. It's a violent, cool way of putting together... Uh, I mean, the way Matt described it was bladed legs with a scorpion tail. And he either said double-bladed edges, or I think he might have said pincers. Regardless, it's moving quick, almost translucent. It seems very aggressive and deadly, and now more of them are around. My guess is, the way Matt described it, he said you see a rustle here and here and here. I'm thinking he's describing three different locations, but I mean, it, it could be 20 of them. And how is he going to describe 20 locations? It would just take too much time. So I am probably looking too much into it like I always do, but I'm thinking there's a minimum of four. Either way, I'm wondering what these things are capable of because I sometimes get worried of things like this and then it ends up, it's like, oh, they do five damage and we take them down in 40 hit points. It could be something like that, but I feel like these are going to be way more aggressive. Why? Because there was a 12 by 13 foot beast that they seem to have handled pretty well. That's not a good thing. And they're like, obviously there's bodies all over the place. So they're just cocooning things and going around killing things. And not for nothing. Am I wrong? I, I just want to know what you guys think. Because right around the time I was saying, oh my God, Caduceus is starting to frustrate me because he can't make a choice. And... He has information he seems like he's not giving us. Not that he's trying to keep it from us. He's just unintentionally not conveying what is going on. Whether or not he knows exactly what is happening, he has more knowledge or information than we do. And I feel like he should have been like, yo, all right, guys. And I know that's not Caduceus's way, but somebody should have asked, I guess, or he should have realized it was more important, especially if we're dealing with something like this. Now, he probably didn't know about the buggy things, but I don't know. I feel like he just wasn't doing it. A, a good job of of communicating. But then everybody else, leave, like Jester, never loses her patience. And Jester was like, oh my God, already, should we go or should we not? I feel like everyone is just like, this is not the type of person you want leading the crew, especially when time is of the essence. We have so many things we've got to do. Traveler Con is approaching. We just had to handle all that with the Traveler in the beginning of the Patreon hour. We got to still do the, the boats. We got to go meet up with Orly. Don't we have to get Orly to take us to this thing? And all this is going on while we're doing Caduceus' side quest because we have like a week to spare in the midst of all this, I guess. I like where we're going. I just want to get there. And I think that's what the rest of us wanted as well. So I'm jumping in. I'm loving everything. I just wanted to speed up in the sense of not lingering. But we still have a lot of unanswered questions. I'm assuming beating these next foes isn't going to get us to like the end of his arc or anything like that i mean maybe this episode will we have actually no this is the short one after the break we only have about an hour and 25 minutes we said this in the last live stream and that's the christmas live stream the christmas weekend live stream so i'm happy it's a short one but i don't think that's enough time to really get deeper into the story i feel like we're going to battle these things and then maybe find the location and maybe episode 96 gets us into that so you guys want to see more of what i do in the description of every video is a link for patreon you'll see the patreon hour exclusive for every episode of campaign two peaky blinders doctor who person of interest true detective season four starts in like three weeks and i think we might do it we'll find out as it get closer but rick and morty season seven ends or ended this week check it out hundreds of other movies and shows full on edited patreon link in the description if not comments down below like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one peace